Joining us now is Peter Navarro. Now, Peter is a rare breed. <laughs> Why do I say that? I hope he's laughing. I want to hear about a, this. A, yeah, let me tell you. You're a college professor, you're from California, and you support Donald Trump. I hope you've got tenure, have you? He's lonely. <laughs> Yeah, well, let, let me tell you, if you fly into Orange County, uh, John Wayne yeah. Airport, there's a statue of a big John there, so Orange County's uh, conservative. I, I actually consider myself just a pragmatist, um, and I think there's going to be a lot of pragmatists in this country voting for Donald Trump, yep. a lot of Reagan Democrats. Yep. Now, what do you make of this late report that we've got here, that uh, Trump will not lower the top tax rate on individuals to 25 percent, he'll put it at 33 percent. He's pulling back on the generosity of his tax cuts. What do you make of that? One of, one of the key principles of Donald Trump's tax plan is revenue neutrality. Uh, so uh, this is an important contribution to that. But I'll tell you, to be honest here, the most important part of that tax plan has to do with the corporate rate. Uh, Donald Trump wants to make sure that American corporations have the greatest incentives to produce here in America. And right now, that corporate tax rate is the highest in the world. So we have got companies, uh, GE, GM, whoever is going ab abroad to get a tax break, and that's crazy. Yeah. So the tax plan that Donald Trump has is designed to get our economy going, double our growth rate, um, and it's all good. We will get it. If we get the tax plan in place, Trump's tax plan, you think we'll get 4% growth? The key part of the whole economic plan, it's tax, it's immigration, but most of all it's trade. We're running an 800 billion, close to $800 billion trade deficit. That alone subtracts a point and a half off, off our GDP growth rate. So if you get a combination of, of lower corporate taxes bringing our corporations home and Donald Trump cracking down on the trade cheating and reducing our trade deficit, we go to three and a half to four percent. You're right in the bull market every day. The only people you'll be shorting is Ted Cruz and it'll, it'll be all good. Uh, and that's, that's what I hope uh, we'll, we'll be taking that message to the American people because part of the safety of America is intricately tied to the strength of our economy. I mean, right now we have the lowest amount of ships protecting us since the 1920s because we don't have a strong economy. So security, immigration, economy, they're all intertwined. And Donald Trump's the only pre presidential candidate in the last 20 years to understand that. Fascinating. I have to ask you, what's the reaction to you in California, a professor, a supporter of Donald Trump? <laughs> uh, why don't you run out of town? I mean, <laughs> you know, it's a serious question. What's the reaction to you? Well, you know, it's, it's, it, it, you're, you're raising, I think, a broader point here, which is the polarization of this election. Uh, we, we have two, two figures uh, that, are, that are totally opposite. And, you know, we have Hillary Clinton, long establishment. She's been responsible for every bad trade deal going back to 1993. And NAFTA, you've got Donald Trump. Um, talks loud, speaks big, thinks, thinks really intelligently. They're going at it. People are taking sides. Hey, that's democracy. That's the beauty of this whole thing. But you, you go back to the early 1980s when we had the, Jimmy Carter run against Ronald Reagan. It was the same thing. You could, they loved things that they were saying about Reagan. They're saying about Trump right now. I think the comparison's apt. Uh, I think that we're on the dawn of something new yeah. here in America uh, with a totally different Republican Party uh, being, that's, it'll be the big tent. Um, Peter Navarro, we thank you very much for being on the show today. I know you're in Cleveland right now. I hope they'll let you back into California. But you can <laughs> come and see us any day you like. Thank you, Peter. I'm going to salute John Wayne when I land. <laughs> you do that. Thank you.